Hi, Miss Courtney's class. It's Miss Annabelle again with another drawing project for you. This time I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to do a directed drawing again, but you can't tell Miss Courtney what we're doing. It's a secret for Miss Courtney. We are going to draw one of Miss Courtney's favorite animals, the llama. So I'm going to do the steps with you and then you get to do one on your own. So first step is to get a piece of paper and something to draw with. You can use a pencil at first. I'm going to use a marker, but I recommend using a pencil. So if you do make a mistake, you can erase it. So step one on our llama is to make the head. And I'm going to use a bumpy line. Go up, 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 and then turn and back down. So it kind of looks like an upside down U. Then I'm going to add its ears. And I'm gonna go one ear, two ears. Next step are the eyes. And if I want my llama to look like it's sleeping, I can do just a slight smile, kind of like a Mona Lisa smile. But if I want my llama to wake up, then I can add the top of its eyes. And then I can add the inside part of the eyes and a little black spot inside. Now my llama looks very much awake. Then I'm gonna add the snout, big circle. And inside the circle, I'm gonna add a little V and then two curved lines to show the snout. And then I'm gonna add a little bumpy line for its chin. And I can add even more little um, kind of wiggly lines to show some of its puffy texture. Then the fun part is to add accessories and a background. So on this one, I added glasses to my llama and I added a bunch of clouds to the background. I think on this one, maybe I'll add some flowers to the background because it's getting to be springtime and there's lots of flowers starting to blossom. So I'm gonna add a bunch of flowers so that I have a pattern happening in the background. And then the last step is to color it in and you can color with whatever you have at home. You might have markers or crayons. You can even do some texture rubbing in the background. And then send your pictures to me and Miss Courtney so we can see what you did. I hope you have fun making some llamas. Bye.